Hey guys, so I asked you for questions for a Q&A video and you delivered. So here I go answering your questions about me. The first question I got is, what are your thoughts on the paranormal and aliens? Well, actually, I'm not sure whether I believe in ghosts because I've never had any paranormal experiences with them. Really? <clears throat> no. No, I haven't. <laughs> I was just thinking about one instance, which I'll tell you about in a second, but I don't know. I actually am kind of scared to think that there would be ghosts or spirits, you know. Um, I enjoy watching movies like Insidious and stuff like that about them, but it's just not really my thing. I don't really like to think about it. Um, I don't know why. It just kind of freaks me out a little bit. My quick story about that is that I used to do a paper out with my dad and <clears throat> I would be awake like between 4 and 7 in the morning doing the paper out. It was very dark, especially in the winter. And um, this one day I was out there, it was really early and it was like nighttime outside and I swear I saw this kid dressed in army fatigues like hiding behind a garbage dumpster and then like he ran across the street but then after that I didn't see him at all and I was like yeah there could be a kid early in the morning out there playing but there's no other kids with him. There was no adults, there was no one, and I was like, what the? It was just really weird. So I always thought that was kind of freaky, because um, I got a weird feeling. But that's like the closest I've ever come to feeling like it was something like that. And the second part of that question is, how do you feel about aliens? I'm actually more curious about aliens than I am about ghosts. Um, I love the whole Roswell thing. Um, when I was a kid, I used to think aliens were scary, but now I'm more interested, and I don't know, it just seems kind of, I don't know what the word is, it's very intriguing, um, and I mean, you never know, I mean, I'm a Christian, but you never know if God made other beings on other planets that he didn't tell us about, we don't know, you know, so they could be out there. So it's kind of cool to think about. I just hope they're friendly and they don't want to kill us like they always portray in movies. <laughs> and yeah, so I think that's kind of cool. Aliens are cool. What do you love about Halloween? Besides everything, I will be specific. Um, I just, okay, I love the time of year, the season. Um, I've literally been dreaming about Halloween almost every night I will dream about going shopping and finding all this great either thrift Halloween stuff or like really cheap Halloween clearance stuff and I'll just be like buying it all and getting so excited I just love the decorations I love decorating I love carving pumpkins I love fall I love all the the pumpkin-y scents and things like that and um, but the biggest thing is that I love the fact that <clears throat> it's a time of year where I can collect things that I want to decorate my home or room with daily <clears throat> and it's just really fun. I just That's the only time of year when you can really collect those things unless you're buying online which is kind of expensive but it's just really fun to see what is out there every year and I get so excited about it. I just wish it would last longer. It's like my Christmas. When did you start living gothic? This is kind of a... I've seen this before in some of my videos but I just don't remember what video it is. So I started living gothic I guess you can say. Um, probably maybe about five years ago. Um, I've always been intrigued by the goth style and I've loved it. I've always been intrigued by the dark side of things. I've always had a weird, silly and morbid sense of humor about things. And so I just never dressed it. I never 
um, ex expressed it on the outside of me until I got older because I just felt I was too shy to do that. I don't know what it was. There was a lot of things. I just didn't have enough confidence to do it. And so now that I'm older, I was going through kind of a bad time with um, realizing I made a bad choice in some of the things that I chose to try to pursue and they didn't work out. So I got really depressed. And out of that depression, I actually started dressing goth and doing goth makeup and um, learning and researching more and watching some more, you know, goth YouTubers and stuff and really getting inspired to be myself and express myself creatively. And I've been learning more and more, you know, especially with makeup and different experimenting with different outfits and stuff. And so that made me more confident and it brought me out of my depression. So that's kind of the story on that. But I've always been intrigued by it and I've always loved it ever since I was a teenager. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? I would live somewhere by the ocean and I fantasize about living in Oregon by the beach, the Oregon coast. and. Cannon Beach, that area, seaside. I just there's just something about it that is just so romantic and beautiful and I just love it. So it would have to be like either near the ocean or the forest or maybe both or somewhere where I can get to either one um, fairly quickly. I just I love nature and being outdoors. I love the ocean. And it's just serene and peaceful and I would just want to live there because I know I would thrive in that environment. What is your favorite thing or place to go when you are sad? Probably outside like I just said. I love nature. I love going outside. I go on a walk when I'm angry or sad. It seems to clear my head and it just makes me feel so much better. I just love looking at trees and leaves and flowers. And, <clears throat> the sky and just feeling the breeze on my face and just just being out of doors or being out in the woods it just it seems to put things into perspective for me and so that's kind of my happy place and two more questions if you had one wish what would it be well you might think I'd wish for money or some really cool stuff that I want but to be honest, right now in my life, I would wish for to be guilt-free and have freedom <laughs> and without going into a bunch of details because you guys kind of know some of what's going on with me, but I just really want freedom to be myself without feeling bad about it, without feeling guilty because a lot of times <clears throat> I feel awful about trying to be myself and enjoy myself and enjoy life because other people I know are in the background angry, jealous, um, and they treat me like I'm doing something wrong all the time. And so I just want that freedom away from that and just to be myself. That's like my biggest wish ever right now. And the last question is how did you and you go meet? I'm very happy to talk about this one. You and I met back in like 2007. I want to say it was like New Year's, not New Year's, it wasn't on New Year's, but it was around that time. Maybe like toward the end of 2006. And we met online on IMView and we were both in the same Christians of IMView group, you know, when they had the little forums and stuff. And so I guess I liked the post that he had written and then he had IM'd me on there and we started talking and he was just a really fun, nice guy. And um, then we started talking on MySpace. Yeah, I remember the days of the MySpace and we'd write each other every single day and we exchange pictures, you know, we we're just friends and <clears throat> we, um, 
did this thing where like we'd have a word of the day and I don't remember the words but one of them the only one I remember that comes to mind is stellar he came up with that that was like the word of the day was stellar and so we just kind of share things with each other and go back and forth and then once in a while we talk on IMVU again but it was mostly we mostly graduated over to, to MySpace and um we just were really good friends and I just I couldn't wait to learn more about him and he, I thought he was like the most intelligent guy ever and I still think that <laughs> and um he just always never ceased to impress me because he's very talented he's a talented writer and storyteller and just everything he does impresses me so I really started to be more intrigued by him about that and I guess I was starting to like him a lot more than a friend and then I found out he had a girlfriend and I was like oh <laughs> um but I was like well you know that's the story of my life uh, and he is younger than I am so I figured like there was no chance anyway but I still remained his friend and <clears throat> Long story short, um, things didn't work out with his girlfriend, and I was there for him, and then he started realizing that everything that he wanted to do with her, he was doing with me, and we were hanging out and doing different things, and I mean online, if that makes any sense. He, I think he knew that I liked him, he knew that I was into him, but he was like, that's he was just kind of in denial and not really thinking it would work out but then he kind of threw caution to the wind and was like what the heck and he told me and it was actually I remember on May kind of May 5th slash 6th because it was probably night time especially for him because he was over in Detroit and he told me that he was in love with me and I was like what <laughs> I was just completely shocked and he asked me to be his girlfriend, and I was like, what the... <laughs> so, we were together... I can't remember what year that was, but we were together for a while before we got married, and, um, yeah. And we got married three years ago, and we were really happy. Very happy, and... Yeah. <laughs> so that's how we met. We are actually an online success story. So that was the Q&A video. Thank you so much to everyone who gave me questions. And if you ever have any more questions for me, like message me on Instagram or here, or just ask me a question and I'll try to answer the video. But thank you so much. I loved getting to know you guys more. I love sharing my life with you. Even if it isn't that exciting, I just love interacting with you guys. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.